In this video, we're towing roughly 11,900 pounds with our 2019 F-150 with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. I cannot confirm or deny the exact weights as it may exceed the gross vehicle weight rating of this truck. Uh, you just have to take my word for it. We didn't scale the truck or weigh the truck in the video, but we uh, weighed the trailer in another video prior to uh, this one and I cannot confirm or deny that anything has changed with the trailer in the time between the videos but uh, just watch the video and make a determination for yourself this is for entertainment purposes only and I do not recommend anyone go over their gross combined weight rating on their truck and I recommend that everyone follow their manufacturers recommendations but anyway guys here's the video enjoy and comment below thanks for watching welcome back to ds trucks today we're going to be doing a towing test with our 2.7 liter ecoboost v6 and we are pushing the limits so the goal was for us to tow the maximum amount of weight uh for the 27 which would have been like 8200 pounds but they put a little extra in our trailer if you follow the channel if you saw yesterday's video then you know they put a little bit extra so how much extra Whew it's uh it's a little it's a little bit heavy so because of the weight we're going to stay off the highway we're just going to do top side back roads and we'll try to keep it pretty safe but we'll show you a similar route to what we shot last time minus the highway now stay tuned to the channel because i'm going gonna, gonna to take the same load that we have here 11,900 pounds and we're going to put the 6.2 liter v8 to the test which is going to be cool we can take that truck on the highway and everything no problem but for this particular truck, we are going to stay off of the freeway. Now, I've already been driving around a little bit, and it does pull pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and get inside the truck and talk about how it does. This is probably going to be one of the only times you'll see something like this. Or, I mean, there's, I'm sure there's a few people who are pushing the limits. My goal was not to go over the limit, and I don't recommend anybody try this. But... This is uh, kind of really what could happen. It only takes it only takes a second for you to get overloaded. I asked for two yards of dirt, and I think I got closer to four or five yards. And it just it is what it is. But if you look at the trailer, it's not squatting too terribly much. Uh, the tongue weight is probably close to five or six hundred pounds. Uh, but I'm gonna get inside the truck, and we'll talk about how it pulls. See you guys in the truck. All right, guys, we are inside the truck getting going here. And like I say, this is a lot of weight, a lot of weight. You definitely wouldn't want to do this all the time, but I guarantee this is something that happens every day as far as loading is concerned. Um, but we're going to go ahead and wait for traffic to clear. But like I was saying, I'm going to keep this all top side, all low speed. I'm not going to risk taking this on the highway. Now, if you follow the channel, that will will spin there. If you follow the channel, then you know that we took the three five EcoBoost with the same load on the highway, but it was probably it was probably legal. Um, it was within the gross combined weight rating of that truck. This is far exceeding it. That would be a pretty significant ticket, and I would I wouldn't want anything to happen. So this is kind of a one and done thing. This is my wife's truck, so I don't usually do this uh, with this truck. And, you know, this trailer is not even really meant to be towed with this truck. Look at that beautiful water line you can see back there. That's stunning. You guys see that? How would it be to have the lake in your backyard? But, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna take you guys to the same spot that I was before and uh, show you this this 27 pulling this much weight is a significant amount of weight pulling it up that bridge you know that's the steepest grade that i have near me uh so i think it's a good it's a good demonstration of the uh truck now comparing this to the 35 the 35 does have more power you know at the end of the day it does have more power both of these trucks pulling this weight seems like it could be it could be better if there was a gearing difference if it didn't have 3.55s Maybe if it had 3.7s or 4.10s or 4.30, it seems like that could be something to make it more 
you know, attractive. Now with the 3.5 EcoBoost, I'll say that it did good. And it, it just, moving this weight from a dead stop is, real, is really when you feel it. Like you come to a stoplight or you're getting rolling and you're getting all this mass moving, you feel it. Now with the highway portion of the driving with the 3.5, which we're not doing with this truck, let me in there with the highway portion of this which we're not doing with this truck because of the weight um i will say with the three five rear gear I, I that's a highway gear it felt a lot better on the highway and even though it kind of uh you know once you run out of uh gearing on the highway if you have a 3.55 the transmission can just shift to like seven or eight and you can still have enough engine speed Whereas if you have a 430 gear and you shift all the way to 10 or whatever your highest gear is, you shift all the way to that gear and it's like there's really not a whole lot else you can do. So it's kind of a tough one. If you were going to do towing and be on the highway most of the time, then I feel like the 355 might actually be better because you can get your engine speed back from your transmission just being in a lower gear. Whereas if you have a 430 gear, you can't get any engine speed. You, you run out of gearing. You get all you go all the way through 10th. You run out of overdrive, and you can't get your RPMs down. So it's interesting. Um, getting the weight rolling is uh, is where you really suffer. But once you're on the highway up to highway speeds, these engines are fine. Um, now this one, you know, you feel it. It feels like. It just you get you, it feel like it feels like you should take your time. It feels like you should just take your time accelerating because it's a lot for the engine, and that is why I run full synthetics in my EcoBoost guys because I push them pretty hard. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, warp forward to the bridge. See you guys once we get there. All right, guys, and here comes the bridge, and the truck's doing good. Uh, like I say, just taking my time, leaving leaving space. And we're going to go ahead and hit this bridge. We'll give it some gas. We'll see what happens. And it's like I said, once it's moving, 35, 40, it's got enough power. It's getting that weight rolling. It's kind of the issue. We'll see here. Let's see how the brakes are and engine braking. Okay, so I will say this with this truck, the 27 EcoBoost compared to the 35 EcoBoost, I'm noticing that the braking is a little better on the 27. And I do know that my rear brake pads on my 35 are a little bit low. They're pretty low. And it's about, ch it's about time to uh, switch out the rear brake pads on my 35 EcoBoost. So I think there might be a braking issue there whereas maybe the the rears aren't aren't holding as good as they could because i'd noticed that this truck trailer with the brakes and everything it feels perfectly adequate as far as stopping power now the three five feels okay too but this feels a little bit better so i'm thinking that you know i've got like thirty thousand miles on that three five ecoboost and something might have happened with the rear brakes where it's time for them to get serviced and maybe they're even maybe the pins are even seized because it's kind of odd for the rear brakes to be shot before the front brakes so maybe it's time it's time for those to get uh serviced and it could be a a, a pin issue where the pins aren't sliding properly so you know that could have something to do with the braking abilities but being this far over the girls combined weight rating uh I um I think this I think these brakes are pretty good, pretty much adequate. And I believe the both these trucks have the same braking system, so between a 3.5 and Eco 3.5 EcoBoost and a 2.7 EcoBoost. But I hope nobody holds me holds it against me that I didn't take this truck on the highway because it is, you know, it's over. And really people are going to be upset that I even did this, you know, but a lot of people are going to be interested in what the 2.7 can do and 
with this trailer, the way the load is, the way it's set up, it's going a lot. It's going down the road pretty good. Uh, so I want to apologize to everybody in advance who's upset that I went over the the towing limit and there's no weight distribution and all that. Sorry. And uh, I want to apologize to the people who might think I didn't go far enough and who want to see it tow and maybe even more weight or maybe even see it like go on a highway. But I think this is enough risk. Just staying up top side is, uh, is plenty risk. So we're just going to stay up here and not hit the freeway, even though it's tempting as I pass the freeway to just jump down there. I'm not going to do it. But um, anyway, we'll uh, continue this drive and see how it goes. Okay, guys, so I'm continuing to drive here with the 27 and 11,900 pounds. This truck's doing great, and it seems like it's doing better and better as I drive. It seems like the transmission is learning. It seems like it's selecting better gearing and everything for the weight and the work that we're doing. It's interesting. So it's getting, somehow it's getting better. At first, it seemed like it wasn't picking the right gear. It was kind of picking a gear that wasn't appropriate. It was kind of, you know, not it was kind of leaning on the engine too much. Now it's starting to downshift a little better, get the RPMs up a little bit more, and uh, it's starting to perform a little better. So I'm gaining confidence as I'm pulling the trailer here. So it's pretty interesting. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and park. We'll do a final walk around like always, and uh, see you guys back at home. All right, and here we are. We made the journey. We stayed off the highway. And we did all city driving with 11,900 pounds behind a 2.7 liter EcoBoost. And the truck got 10 miles to the gallon. Now, what I found is as I drove more, it became more confident. Uh, the transmission seemed to have learned as we were driving. Uh, as you see, guys, with the weight, the trailer set up good. There's not a whole lot of squat. The trailer did pull good. It probably would have been okay on the highway, but being uh, a little bit overweight, as a precaution, I stayed off of the freeway and just stayed on some back roads at low speeds. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be probably the only time that you see me pulling this much weight with the 2.7. But, you know, it just kind of happened. It kind of worked out this way. If you follow the channel, you know that we got overloaded the previous day. But nonetheless, it's an opportunity to really see what the 2.7 liter EcoBoost can do. And I have to say... I was impressed as long as the transmission works with you and it seemed like it learned after a little bit of towing then I think you'll be in good shape so all in all it did good the brakes did better than they did in my 3.5 and I think I need to take a look at the rear brakes on my 3.5 EcoBoost because the pads are kind of low and there might be something going on with the rear brakes so it's still okay in the 3.5 but this felt perfectly fine the trailer brakes and everything worked out real nice uh, here's a look at the load it's tarped up, so it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, we've got a uh, couple yards of dirt back here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So the 2.7 is an amazing engine. Why it's rated lower? Probably because it's because of the internals. I don't know. But I think the engine can do a lot more than what Ford gives it credit for. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Uh, we're going to continue to do some videos with this trailer we're gonna test the 6.2 liter gas v8 next so stay tuned to the channel thank you for watching ds trucks guys where we run nothing but the best and hope to see you in the next video over and out